Hello guys, today I'm going to show you my quick honeycomb recipe that's going along with my honeycomb chocolate bonbons which I'm just about to do now for a bespoke order and let's go and let's get underway with this amazing honeycomb. Okay, so first you're going to need your caster sugar and you're going to need 200 grams for this recipe. You're just going to pour it into your saucepan. Oh, I didn't even turn the scales on. Okay, so take two, you're going to put 200 grams of caster sugar into your saucepan. Like so. Then you have this messy stuff. Now I've got a massive container of it, but normally it comes in a tin and it's just so messy, but it's so good. And you need five tablespoons of this. This is going to be quite a rough measurement because you know it's kind of hard to measure out five tablespoons. It's so sticky. We'll call that one and a half, two. Okay, so now we need to stick this mixture on a gentle, low heat. So like so, we're just going to put it on a gentle, low heat, probably that'll do. And we're just going to let all that sugar melt. And then once the sugar is melted into the um, golden syrup, then we're going to jack it up and make a caramel. Now whilst that is happening, you're going to measure out your two teaspoons, two teaspoons of bicarbonate soda, which is what's going to make it go all puffy. And it's just going to give it that honeycomb look. One, two. Now we're just going to let this melt. You just want to stir together the sugar and the golden syrup so they melt quicker. Okay guys, so as you can see it's starting to boil up now. We've raised the heat up a little bit and it's just starting to bubble a bit now it's still got a bit further to go it's not it's not a caramel yet but it's getting there okay so the caramel is getting there now it's getting that nice deep amber color I don't know if you can see can you see that it's a lot darker than it was not quite as dark as we want it you can go a little further Okay, right, so the caramel's there now, it's pretty, it's pretty dark, and we're gonna add in this bicarb. Guys, we've kind of had a fail. It's not really a fail, it's a sign that it's a good honeycomb, but it's a sign that my measuring skills and my anticipation were poor. You want a honeycomb souffle? Okay, so I've just had an amazing idea. If I roll this up while it's still warm and like, you know, it's malleable, I can roll it up into little balls and that makes it so much easier to get into the bonbons. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got our chocolate here, partially melted, and we've got our hot cream here. And now we're gonna pour it over. Pour it on like that. And we're just gonna let it sit in there for a few minutes and let it melt. Now we're just gonna mix it round. It's been melting for a while now. We're just gonna mix it up. And eventually, eventually, it starts to become silky like this. And you scrape the sides like this. Obviously, I'm only one-handed here, so I can't really do it. You scrape the bottom, and you keep mixing that until it's all mixed in, and you can't see any of these streaks of cream. You should have something that looks rich and silky and with no streaks in like this. Okay, so the next step now is to temper some dark chocolate, and that's because we need to take our honeycomb balls, which are right here, you need to coat them in this chocolate because if you just put the, the balls in the ganache then the ganache is going to make it go all soggy and your honeycomb will lose its crunch and it will just dissolve. So let's go. Let's have our seed. We've got 200 grams of dark chocolate and we're adding in a quarter of that which is 50. And now we're just going to stir until it's all melted and below 34 degrees. See you soon. So we have our tempered chocolate guys, we've got that just there, we've got our honeycomb balls just here, and now we're about to dip it and create that nice thin coating. Okay. 
Okay guys, so we've got our chocolate honeycomb balls here. I don't know if you can see, but they've just they finished setting. These just here. We've got our shell and we do have our ganache which is over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pipe a little bit of ganache in, put a ball in, put more ganache on top. Sweet. Okay, so we're just gonna pipe this first layer in, like so. Pipe the first bit in, just just a tiny bit. You probably won't be able to see how tiny this bit is, but literally just a tiny, tiny dab. Now we're going to take one of our honeycomb balls, we're going to put it in, press it down, just like that. That's way too big. I may have made some of these too big. Okay, so now what we can do is we can pipe the rest of this ganache in. Really only got one that's slightly too big, but this might be a bit difficult because the ganache is kind of thick That's what we do Okay, so our ganache has been setting as you can see it's been setting and now we're gonna put the tops on it So we've got our tempered chocolate there and let's do this Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your tempered chocolate over here like that. Now the reason we used that hairdryer or a heat gun if you've got one is because... Oh no, where's my scraper? I've got my scraper guys. By heating the shells you create something for the chocolate to seal to. So there are no cracks between your base and your shell, which means the ganache can't leak out, which means that you get one uniform shell when you bite into it rather than something that breaks apart. So you know when you bite into chocolate sometimes and the shell breaks apart from the base. This is why we do that. Of a tap and just one scrape. Okay, guys, so we got the caps and our bonbons, we got our bonbons ready. Most of them are neat, most of them are neat, and now we're gonna start to on the mold. The best, the best part. Okay, should we see? Okay, so now they're all coming out first time. Understandable. 